Uh, hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blitz of Tower. And a while ago, the user, um, uh, Safrock6750 asked if I could make a video where I ships, where I spill some facts about aliens. Um, initially I figured that this would have been quite hard to do, but then I remembered that I'm not human. And that I'm an extraterrestrial being myself. And I actually grew up living in space. Um, so I'd like to be sharing some facts from what I've learned about aliens firsthand. Because I, I used to have a best friend when I was younger. And his name was um, uh, M Marshall. Um, or originated from uh, M Martian. Um, and, and his descendants were from Mars. And my descendants were from Venus. And so, so he, he traveled from Mars to Venus because you see aliens, one fact about them is that they like to um, migrate just like humans. Um, aliens, they come in all different shapes and sizes, um, but because a, a lot of them are actually quite intelligent beings. So like uh, they, 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 don't, they don't have any like discrimination or anything because they're just that intelligent. Um, and I agree with that, you know. Um, because like the way I was brought up with with aliens and stuff is that like like um discrimination against other people like just for like how they look whatever that's that's nothing that that's no why a lot of people can't actually control how they look so why why discriminate against them you know what I mean and so yeah aliens they like to follow that rule religion with aliens when when I lived in Venus. Something I've noticed is that, like, among amongst a lot of aliens and that, um, they they don't follow a, a particular religion. Like, they they don't worship a deity. Instead, what they do is they they like they worship themselves. You know, self confidence is key. Um, and that was another thing I've learned while I was on Venus. Now you see, I I didn't just live on Venus when I was younger, since you know, um, I used to migrate as well a little bit, um. Humans nowadays, they take like thousands of years to migrate. I mean, what, have you seen the history of like, where I currently live in New Zealand? It took like, what, like 5,000 years for them to migrate here. However, with aliens, it can only take like five days or so. Um, because the time and space is actually very different from on Earth. Um, another thing about aliens is that like, a lot of them, they can be quite tall. Um, my friend Marshall, he was about seven foot five, which was actually quite like the average height for aliens. Um, although some of them, they could be really short, about 0 0.5 feet tall. Now I'm, 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 I'm using the imperial system for this to make you guys understand a bit of, because I know that a lot of you guys, like 50% of my viewers almost, are from America, and I heard that Americans use the imperial system. System, however, in in space, they use the metric system, because the metric system is superior to them. Another fact about aliens is that they are also closer closely related to flies. Um, although the the the, the visual appearance can vary, um, one thing that they do have in common is that they they don't like eating that much. Instead, what they do is, much like a fly, they, they regurgitate the liquid onto their food so it dissolves, and then they suck it up. Except, like, uh, if, if, if the alien has, like, antennae, then they're going to use their antennae. But if they don't, then they'll just use their mouth. Um, aliens don't have fingernails, or a lot of them, some of them do, but most of them don't. Um, reminds me of a funny story from last year. Um, while I was on Earth, I, I realized that I want to follow back to my, um, uh, alien heritage. Like, I keep trying to sand down my fingernails. Real story, by the way. Like, this is actually, like, factual, like, really true stuff. All of the stuff I'm saying is true. Um, but yeah, I used to sand down my fingernails to the point where it was, like, it was, like, it was, like, half my fingernail. Um, but I, I had to stop doing that, however, because, like, they kept growing back. I would really like to show you a picture. However, if you know me, you know that my camera quality is um, horrendous. Uh, so I could not get a decent photo. Mm -mm. Aliens, because they're so sophisticated, like their houses, they weren't on land. No, 
um, their houses, they were, they were, like, floating houses. Because, you see, the thing about aliens is that, like, um, like, they, they don't use, they, they like to maximize the amount of space. So, with having houses on the ground, like, on Earth, that's actually wasting a lot of the sky. Because, like, what do we even need the sky for, you know what I mean? What aliens did is that they, they designed, um, these magnet houses, um, magnet houses because, um, if you've noticed, if you have magnets and you try to, like, push them to give, like, two magnets, you can't actually do that. And there's a little space in between stopping them from moving. So what aliens did is that they, they actually attached magnets to the bottom of the ground and to the bottom of the houses so that, like, like giant magnets that were, like, really, really strong in power, and the magnets, they kept pushing each other, like, up far away so that, like, the house would be in the sky and the, um, magnet, that there would be space, like, free space where you could build, like, other cool things. Um, I really appreciate aliens for doing that and making flying houses. Um, there were also, like, railways, like, in, like, um, like, rail tracks full of cars and stuff, but they had multiple. So that um, you could easily just fly, or, like drive around. But most people didn't actually have cars because those are so old fashioned. Instead, um, they liked using telepods as well. Um, uh, and telepods, of course, I'm sure you, you guys all know what telepods are. You know, you hop in them and then you press a couple of buttons and then your molecules dissolve and go into another one. Um, it took um, islands a while to actually figure out how to, um, configure them so that you can, like, go to, like, different, um, telepods that were scattered all around, um, uh, the planet. Uh, but eventually we figured it out and it was pretty simple. Yeah, I'm not sure, um, how many other facts I'm supposed to, um, talk about in this video. But anyways, yeah, that's all. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Bye! Where's the off button? Wait, hold on.